Fantastic. Can you talk about um, what is the wrong way for a startup to approach an investor? Um, a lot of times when people are new to this business, you know, they think, at least I've found that startups or founders tend to think, you know, investors are really just walking dollar bills and, you know, how do I get that dollar bill into my pocket? Um, mm -hmm. As I've grown um, in Silicon Valley, I've learned that there are vastly different flavors and varieties of investors. Okay. Um, and can you talk about, for instance, what's, what are wrong ways that people have approached you and what are, pay, what are ways that you appreciate, um, aside from going through your hazing process that people have actually approached you? <laughs> Um, so let me do the easy one first, which is the ways that I appreciate, and that's okay. a, a recent example. Um, so I, I'm just about to do a deal with a founder who, uh, he did not know me, I did not know him, we were not in a common network, um, but he did his homework, he figured out that for the space that he was going to be in, which is something in the computer vision space, um, that I've done a bunch of companies in the computer vision space, and that's an area that I really like. Mm. Um, and so he actually reached out to one of my uh, one of my other founders um, and first connected with one of those founders, and he he essentially built the relationship with that founder, passed their sniff test, and then came in through a referral. Mm. Um, and so it it didn't end up coming directly to me; it came in through a referral. Um, I met the, I met the person and saw that he really knew what he was doing, and and we ended up uh, coming to agreement on doing the deal. Right. So it, it, wasn't, um, it wasn't the type of process that, hey, this is the person I need to get to and I'm just going to go directly to this person and, and try pitching them on it. Right? Um, and in the, in the venture, I, I know this is, uh, I've, I've been a founder many times over, so I can, I can say this with conviction, but I know that it's frustrating for founders to hear when investors say that they, they want referrals. Mm -hmm. But if you think about it, the, the flip side of the problem it's really that that's my way of, of isolating signal from noise. Mm -hmm. okay? And so if it's a referral coming in from a trusted source, I'm definitely going to pay more attention to that as opposed to something that's just coming in over the transom. Right? Um, so that's, uh, that's the example of the, the, uh, the one that I appreciate. Um, in terms of examples of, uh, of things that the, the founders may do, which I don't appreciate in terms of their fundraising, um, Probably the, you, you already alluded to the first one, right? Which is that they kind of look at it as it's almost an adversarial process mm -hmm. uh, between the founders and the investors and their job is to get the money and, and move on as quickly as possible. Right? That is as far from the truth as possible because mm -hmm. it really comes down to like, if you're working with an investor, you're getting married to that investor, right? Especially if it's an active investor, right? Mm -hmm. um, and you're going to be working with that person for a long, long time. You almost want to go through the dating process. You want to get to know the person. You want to see what their style is. Mm -hmm. um, and you want to build up that relationship over time. Right? And Mark Schuster, uh, who's one of, uh, is a phenomenal person I'm sure you've talked to, um, Mark actually says, like, investing in lines, not dots. And I fully mm -hmm. agree with that, right? Like, if somebody comes in as a single data point, that's not going to lead to an investment. You have to actually have a relationship. You want to be able to draw the line, right? And the more dots you have with a person, the more connected you are going to be with them, right? Um, one other point I'll make here is demo days are a terrible place to meet investors, right? So I've almost stopped going to any demo days at all, okay? In fact, in most cases when I'm going to a demo day, it's more because I get to go meet 50 other investors and say hello to them in a it's like high frequency, it's high bandwidth uh, networking. Um, but it's very rare that I would actually uh, find a company that I would invest in at a demo day. 